who's about to turn 30, uh, who actually works a nice uh, middle income salary job for the city of Berkeley uh, with amazing benefits. <laughs> Yet in the Bay Area, I live with two other people. Uh, I have two other roommates and my rent takes up about 40% of my income. This story is about capitalism. Ooh. <laughs> this is my story, and if I'm struggling to make ends meet, living paycheck to paycheck, especially with an uncertain future, I can't imagine what it's like for somebody else who is less unfortunate than me. So, the, like so many of you in this room, I ask myself all the time, you know, how will I ever be able to own a house? And if I do, will I just be more and more in debt and more and more in debt to the system? Just like how when I decided to go to college, when I decided to take out a credit card, or when I decided to buy a car. So why am I sharing this? I'm sharing this because East Bay for Everyone taught me to be unafraid to share my story, which is my housing story. East Bay for Everyone is fighting people who are being pushed out, who have already been pushed out, who also don't know how long they will be able to live in the Bay Area, uh, how long they can afford rent, and also for the people who aren't here yet. Inclusivity is key to, the fi uh, to fixing our housing crisis, and East Bay for Everyone's values is, is a value-based organization who believes that we need to prioritize our natural resources, maximize density, and fight for public transportation. <laughs> I am proud to uh, award the organization award to an organization that is committed to building more housing. Thank you. Where density is good, housing is a home, not an investment. Stopping displacement, protecting tenants, and also long-term planning. Yes. So I am honored to award East Bay for Everyone the East Bay Young Democrats Organization of the Year Award. Yes. And accepting that award is Victoria Pierce. Hello. 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 I am East Bay for Everyone. <laughs> You are East Bay for everyone. We are all East Bay for everyone. Everyone. Everyone's East Bay for everyone. My phone locked on it. We believe that housing is a human right, and every tool at our disposal must be employed to secure it for the people of the East Bay. Ours is an inclusive vision of welcoming all people, past, present, and future. Four years ago, at Awaken Cafe, myself and six other friends, we wrote that down. A friend of mine, Philip, many of you know him, uh, decided to run for city council in Alameda. And we decided, well, that's too easy. Let's just solve housing for the entire East Bay. <laughs> Still in progress, but that's where we went. Uh, today, we're an organization with over 2,000 members, and next year, we're just going to double that. But who really cares about membership, really? People care about results and what it is that we do. We've built the MacArthur Mammoth. We've helped take back Berkeley City Council to a pro-housing majority. We've marched against fascism in Concord. We've won 80-15 with pro-housing candidates. We've passed a whole bunch of laws in Sacramento. We've made big, real, meaningful change, and we're not done yet. Next year, SB 50 is coming back into the focus at the state level, and you just bet your ass we're going to organize the hell out of it. We need it, and we're going to keep fighting for housing in the East Bay to make sure that the East Bay truly is for everyone. We also run 2044 Franklin, which has grown into a community center beyond our wildest dreams. Many people have used it, and we want to keep going for that because we also believe, just like the space, the city is for everyone. So our space is also for everyone. We've hosted Measure A campaign in the, in the building. We've hosted Measure Double A, the sequel. We've hosted Pride two years in a row. We've had a lot of candidates about 8015 come in and have a big panel. And nowadays, thanks in part to our work and the work of everyone else in this room, candidates now have to defend parking. It used to be parking was a, for, a, a given thing in any new housing development. But nowadays people say, well, I don't know about the parking. That's a big meaningful change. That would have never happened five, ten years ago, but it is today. So on behalf of East Bay for Everyone and our 2,000 plus members, I am absolutely honored and beside myself to accept this award. 
thank you so much. And we're having a meeting next month, and I would love to see you all be there. And again, you know, the rule of East Bay for everyone is show up, and everyone does. Thank you. Shout out to Ruben for getting us a Wi-Fi hotspot. He just had one in his backpack, I guess. <laughs> cool.